We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get oh, ready. Because this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, y'all. So I know everybody and their mom, but we want me to come on here and talk about the whole drama that has been going on now for weeks with Tyrese Gibson, aka Cry Reese Gibson. Okay. That's what I'm going to call this dude is Cry Reese because all he damn does on social media is cry 24 damn seven about what other grown men choose to do with their damn lives. Okay. So if you guys have not been following all this mess between him and Dwayne Rock Johnson, I'm going to bring y'all up to speed. So it seems like Cry Reese has been in his feelings because Dwayne was offered a spinoff because we all know he plays the character Luke Hobbs in The Fast and the Furious. So Universal Studios offered him a spinoff and Tyrese was not feeling that shit. He called him out a few weeks ago, even clowned his donation for Hurricane Irma when that hit Houston. And then you could tell that Tyrese was upset because Kevin Hart, you know, didn't shout him out. So the whole situation has just been interesting, but honestly, Tyrese has been going ham over this announcement. And so recently, uh, Universal Pictures, they announced that they're going to delay the ninth installment of the Fast and the Furious franchise until 2020. As we all know, it was initially supposed to come out July 26, 2019, but now they pushed it back to 2020, and when Tyrese heard that, he went off on social media, okay? I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what Tyrese wrote on Instagram. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. All right, so you guys just saw what Tyrese had to say. So now the craziest thing is that basically Ben Diesel, who's also produced on the Fast and Furious films, he posted a picture of him, Tyrese, and Paul Walker, and he wrote Brotherhood. And Tyrese was so gassed up and so boosted that then he came back and he posted this, okay? He's posting a picture of the Fast and Furious original family. This is what Tyrese says. He says, diversity, love, multi-ethnic, worldwide, multi-generational, United Nations, one race, fast family, until Dwayne showed up. I guess the whole time he had a problem because he wasn't the only one on the movie poster. I guess dreams do come true. Congratulations at HH Garcia 41 and at The Rock. You guys are just amazing. You really broke up the fast family. I tried to warn you guys. You guys thought I was hating. I was simply fighting to keep the family together. What makes us great is when you see us all together. We don't fly solo. My last post today. I got three years of venting on this clown. They offered, but you didn't have to agree with the solo Hobbs movie deal. The original Fast Family, we salute you and stand on your shoulders. Hashtag Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, Rob Cohen, and Roman Tage were all offered spinoffs and they turned it down. 
Shut up, Jody. Okay. Tyrese is so annoying. And the funny thing is that in this picture that he posted, he's not even there. You weren't even one of the damn originals. You came like in the third episode or some shit. Like, what the hell are you talking about, Tyrese? This dude is a trip, okay? And this is what Tyrese had to say about the situation. So Tyrese says, at Southern Bell 97, this isn't about a better deal. It's the fact that everyone else declined a spinoff to respect Paul and the franchise legacy. And he was selfish enough to say yes. Also with him taking the deal, he put everyone else's funds on hold because of his movie, might I add, he did it behind their backs also, proven that he's selfish and disrespectful. Southern Bell says, again, it's business, case in point. Then he writes this, okay? He writes, at Vin Diesel, never confuse determination with desperation. What's understood doesn't have to be explained. 44 million just got the memo. Although it appears to be, I've never been in this alone, Perception versus reality, hashtag fast family. Like I said, we don't fly solo. President Obama's integrity teaching is of a man who makes everyone feel like they matter. All right, so you guys just saw what Tyrese had to say to Vin Diesel. So when I tell you, it's just been a bunch of drama like for weeks, right? So now as of yesterday, The Rock finally responded. You know, he finally threw some big shade at damn Tyrese, okay? So The Rock basically took to Instagram and basically called Tyrese a AKA Cry Reese, a crying puppy, okay? He's working out and he basically put him on blast. Check out what The Rock had to say. <laughs> 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 Now, if that's not crazy enough, The Rock telling his followers that big dogs eat and little crying puppies stay on the porch. The funny thing is that Tyrese's own homeboy, Tank, from TGT, came out today to basically troll Tyrese and the Hobbs movie situation. So Tank ends up basically giving The Rock's props because we all know Tank, Tyrese, and Genuine. And Genuine, they all got into it a few years back, so they haven't been close anymore. And he ends up shouting out The Rock. And The Rock ends up responding back to Tank. And, like, Tank literally just, you know, I don't know, he just turns into a female. And he gets so boosted. like It's like his damn panties got wet or some shit. And he's like, oh, my God, I'm having a real fan moment, you guys. At The Rock spoke on my request. If it goes no further than this, God, I'm thankful. Blessings to you, brother. Hashtag Hobbs and Shaw. You know, so it's like everybody's just throwing shade at Tyrese at this point. Now, what's even crazier is that if you guys remember Vin Diesel you know he tried to kind of stay neutral but now Vin Diesel is definitely picking sides and so Vin Diesel basically was responding to one of these fans and he spoke his piece and he you know literally defended the rock so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what Vin Diesel had to say about the situation All 
All right, so you guys just read what Vin Diesel had to say about the entire situation. So it's obvious that more and more people are siding with The Rock on this whole situation. And then now, as of today, just about a few hours ago, The Rock has finally dropped the official trailer for the Hobbs movie promo. So The Rock is being very, very shady towards Mr. Cry Reese. Check this out. Let me tell you something. Me and you, one on one. I will beat your ass like a Cherokee drum. Maybe one day we'll find out. All right, so you guys just saw the Hobbs movie trailer. So like I said, I hope you guys can keep up with all this mess. It's been months worth of drama, okay? This is just me kind of putting everything into a neat package, okay? So this whole situation is crazy. And again, I don't feel bad for Cry Reese, okay? Cry Reese is the same one who has taken to Instagram and Twitter over and over again to shame and talk shit about black women and, and everything else. And, you know, he's always crying about something. He's always worried about what another grown man is doing. You know, he claims that all these other people were offered solo deals and they all turned it down. And that might be true. But did anybody offer you a solo deal? No, because, you know, Tyrese's character on Fast and the Furious, it's like a small bit part. I mean, he's there, but his part is definitely not as big as like a Paul Walker or The Rock or Vin Diesel. You know what I'm saying? And what Tyrese needs to understand, he keeps screaming all this family shit. You know, the Fast family. He's playing with the family's money. You know, he needs to stop with all this fucking blind ass loyalty and realize that this fake ass family is just what that is. It's a fake ass family. It's a damn movie. OK, at the end of the day, The Rock is winning because he's about his paper he's about his money this man is in multiple movies every year meanwhile Tyrese is not and that's the real reason why Cry Reese is feeling some type of way and why he's always crying online the only thing he has right now is his online persona he has nothing else going for him and that's why he's always upset and with him constantly speaking out and talking mess all he's going to do is get himself either kicked off or have his character killed off of this franchise you know I find the whole situation crazy it's like there's no damn family in Hollywood. Like, what the hell are you thinking? All the damn crazy shit that's going on with Harvey Weinstein and all this other bullshit. You really think these folks truly care about you and you guys are really a family? So I'm gonna need you to wake up, okay? This is a every man for himself type business. The Rock would be an idiot to turn down his roles just to please cry Reese or anybody else. It's about business. It's not personal. And when you realize that and you get out your damn emotions and you stop crying about how another grown man chooses to feed his family, then and maybe, too, you'll have an opportunity to accept roles if they even come to you. But the way you keep running your mouth, the way you keep, you know, blasting these big name people, you're going to get your black ass blacklisted. OK, that's what's going to end up happening to you, Cry Reese, because this is just a bit too much. At the end of the day, he needs to realize that it's about business. You know, I don't understand. Instead of him yapping all up and down social media and constantly going in, he needs to worry about his personal life. He's more obsessed with the damn rock in this movie than he is his racially ambiguous black queen remember when he was calling her black queen and she had to come out and check him and say no I'm not black my father's white and my mom's Latina you know Tyree should be doing the most and then right now he also has a child protection case against him from his baby's mother where she is accusing him of beating their daughter now I don't know if that happened it's not my business but I know he has that case hanging over his head so I feel like he needs to be focusing on what's going on with him and his daughter and that DSS situation and he needs to be less focused on what's going on with the rock okay obviously See, Tyrese needs the money. That's why he's upset that the movie's being pushed back because if the movie's being pushed back, they're not going to get any money or they're not going to see any residuals for a while. And that's why he's mad and he's not getting any offers to really sing. He's not getting any offers to really host. He's not getting any other movie or TV offers. So that's why he's constantly complaining because people who are eating, people who are working, people who are doing what they love, people who are happy, they don't sit online worried about what another grown person is doing and how they're getting their money 24 seven you know this is just really really crazy how much drama has gone on behind Tyrese and all he's doing is alienating fans and alienating people from him he thinks that he's speaking the truth but he's not speaking the truth the point is he's being blinded by this fake ass family loyalty and at the end of the day it's just Hollywood there is no family okay you know the same way Isaiah Washington thought that you know he was a part of that family and then as soon as he did some shit he's been regulated down to damn indie films and commercials okay they don't play that shit in Hollywood weird so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping make sure you hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you click that bell so you can be down with the notification squad honey so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces
Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.